In my early 30s, I was writing a book about the American philosopher Henry David Thoreau. And as part of my project, I was reading scores of diaries and journals from people in the 19th century. And those people were similar in many ways to us. They were experiencing radical technological change in the steamboat, the telegraph, the, the railroad that was upending ordinary life. But the one thing that was very different um, about their experience compared to ours was their near constant experience of death. Tuberculosis infected massive percentages of po the population. And so, so many people were dying at very young ages of this terrible disease. And it left a terrible mark on every element of society. The American poet James Russell Lowell wrote on the anniversary of his daughter's burial at um, Mount Auburn Cemetery in Cambridge, Massachusetts, a poem called The First Snowfall. And it encapsulates in many ways that place that ha of, of tragedy within a larger context of our experience of God. So I'm going to read a, a brief excerpt from that poem. The snow had begun in the gloaming and busily all the night had been heaping fields and highway with a silence deep and white. I stood and watched by the window the noiseless work of the sky and the sudden flurries of snowbirds like brown leaves whirling by. I thought of a mound in sweet Auburn where a little headstone stood, how the flakes were folding it gently as did robins their babes in the wood. Up spoke our little Mabel saying, Father, who makes it snow? And I told of the good All-Father who cares for us here below. Again, I looked at the snowfall and thought of the leaden sky that arched o'er our first great sorrow when that mound was heaped so high. I remembered the gradual patience that fell from that cloud-like snow, flake by flake, healing and hiding the scar of our deep plunged woe. And again, to the child I whispered, the snow that husheth all. Darling, the merciful Father alone can make it fall. Then with eyes that saw not, I kissed her, and she kissing back could not know that my kiss was given to her sister, folded close under deepening snow. The poem reminds me about how a question can begin to enable us to move into a deeper relationship with one another and a deeper, deeper relationship with God. And in this case, it is also about the way that tragedies can completely threaten to undo us, but that at the same time, our life of sorrow is enveloped in something so much larger, the presence of God, all of time, all of space, all of God's love and care for us. We don't know exactly how God is or who God is, but I believe that God is that healing presence in our life that patiently, like our experience of the snow and of one another, begins to bring healing. I have no idea what you may be suffering this week, but I'm praying that you are experiencing healing in your life and that in prayer you're reaching out to God and receiving a kind of answer, being drawn closer into the divine life. My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral here in San Francisco, California, and this is my More Good News broadcast.